Hey everybody, I want to do the update for the uh, lower deck here. I'm wearing my Lumina Acres sweatshirt. It's one of the channels that I support. They're doing the urban home, or not urban homesteading, they're doing real homesteading out on some property in New Hampshire, which is, you know, a place that Paul and I are looking at as taking our adventure in homesteading to the next level. So it's one of the places we're looking at. But while we're still in the urban setting here in the Pacific Northwest, I thought I'd give you a little update for the lower deck today. It's early morning. Sunday. Chard's looking nice. We had a salad out of that this week with our visiting guests, Paula's family. Marigolds are doing well. They're really starting to take off in this box. I mean, they're a lot bigger. I mean, you guys have been watching the videos, so you know the progression of how everything goes. There's the cilantro. It looks like it's doing pretty well. Those chives, you know, they're they're still hanging in there. To, I don't know how well they'll do in this box. It doesn't get a whole lot of sun. Over here you can see the chives. Oh, a lot of those airplanes flying over. <clears throat> you can see the marigolds here. Chives are a little bit bigger on this side because they get more sun. And then back here's the cabbage. You can see those are doing pretty well. The one that's closer over here, it looks like he's not doing so hot. Looks like something's been eating on him. But I do see the uh, the wasps continuously flying in and out of here. So if there's any kind of pest pressure, it's going to be taken care of by feeding them. And I don't really want to put any kind of chemical or anything on there like the, the soap. Kill them off. Because then, you know, then there won't be anything for them to harvest. Keep them going. Kind of like a little balance of the ecosystem. You have to have some of the bad to go with the good. So I figure, you know, I'll sacrifice a few leaves on my cabbage. That way I can keep up the population of the uh, parasitic wasps. There's our garlic chives. Paul has been cutting those and putting them in our meals. She cut off a bunch of the uh, onions. So they're regrowing now. Kale is doing great. We're going to have a kale salad today for our Sunday meal. Paul is going to make some ribs. I think she's going to make a salad out of this. You can see the cabbage over here in this box. I wanted to show you guys the difference between what a little bit of sun profile difference does. Okay, so here's, here's this box. You can see it does really well with the, the, uh, the chards and stuff. I mean, you can see there's a lot of really nice, healthy growth in the chard. Not as much sun because we have the house over here. And you know, cabbages, you know, fairly mid size. When you come over here, cabbage is double its size. Big, big leaves. Marigolds are huge. <laughs> I mean, look at the leaf on this cabbage. See, this is what we do in the, the wintertime. We'll come through here. When we lose all the other greens out in the yard, we still have the cabbage. So early spring, we're coming out and taking and harvesting these and using those to saute as like a collard green because cabbage leaves are really good I mean as as you know the head of cabbage turns into basically it's just compacted leaves so we eat all the leaves I mean whether they have holes to be eaten in them or not I don't really care I'll uh, come out here and grab a whole handful of these things that's one of the reasons why I put them up here on the deck is because I you know Paula was saying you know she wanted to know why why am I putting these cabbage up here on the raised beds and the deck and said well you know when it's snowing outside I don't want to have to go trudge out in the yard out there and it makes it a little easier for me to come out here and harvest some food like these kales and stuff from these beds and just run back in the house I guess you can call this slipper gardening you can come out here in your slippers and you can just pick up some food and run back in the house all right I guess I'm rambling now guys <laughs> Okay, I'll talk to you guys again next week. This has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Have a good weekend, or a good week. <laughs> All right, bye guys.